we are here to get into the word of God and to fellowship with God through his word and I know that you enjoy the word of God more than anything else I'm so happy to be here and I hope that you're also happy to be here what I'm going to be doing this morning is sort of like I want to look at it as a way of empowering you and and cause you to realize the amount of authority that God has given to you to deal with the devil and all of his demons so the subject that we are going to be looking into in, in theology they call it demonology so I'm going to present it to you in a way that you might have never heard before and ultimately to make you also realize that you have power over all the power of the enemy. So before we take our seats, we're going to have a lot of scriptures to deal with. But we're going to start with the most common scripture that we all know from the book of Isaiah, prophet Isaiah chapter 14. Don't listen to me this morning as if you have heard me before. Because if you're going to be very, very attentive, you are going to realize that I will begin to say things that the Lord himself has been uh, forbidding me to talk about. And is, and is now beginning to allow me to say out certain things now. So I would want you to act as if you are listening to me for the very first time. I'll get into something that you already know that I've already dealt with, but I will once in a while get into critical issues. And I will expose the devil to you. And I will expose every demon that has been giving you problems to you. And I will show you how you can also expose the power of God from within you. So let's pick it up from verse number 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Notice he's being called the son of the morning and not the son of God. I'll show you why he is being called the son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations. I wanted to underline the word nations there. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, and I will ascend above the heights of the cloud, I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? And that did shake 
kingdoms. And that made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof. Underline the word cities. That openeth, opened not the house of his prisoners. Okay, we may be seated. We are going to have some more scriptures later on. Now, I don't want you to get terrified by some of these jargons that you come across like demonology. It is simply a combination of two words, which is demon and ology, which means study. So most of the times when you see a word with an ology at the end, it's a study on something which is the first word. Just like when they talk about theology, theo means God, ology means the study of God. When they talk about Christology, it's a study on Christ. Okay. And when they talk about the study of the spirit, they call it pneumatology. Pneumatology, which means yuma means the spirit, the study of the spirits. So I don't want you to get terrified by that term, demonology. We are just here to discuss and to study on how the devil operates and functions. So that you can have an upper hand and you can be in charge of your situation every time. So the main purpose why I'm presenting this to you, it is not so that you get terrified but it is so that you can start terrifying the devil. Okay? So, it's a subject that is coming from what we have been dealing with so far, the spirit of Jezebel. I got to a point when the Lord began to reveal to me certain things about that spirit. And what I saw, I felt and I was made to understand by the Spirit of God that I cannot go ahead talking about the Spirit of Jezebel. I have to go back and start with you from where it all started. So you see that as we are talking about demons and Lucifer and so on, we we'll also come back to the spirit of Jezebel. But the question that normally comes to people when you begin to talk about the devil is whether it is right to do a study of the devil or on demons. Many people, they don't understand, they don't see the reason why. So it's so difficult for them to really understand why we should be talking about the devil and demons. We are not going to allow the devil to talk to us about himself, but we are rather going to analyze him and we are going to do a study on him, whether he likes it or not. We are going to look into his life. And the knowledge that I have concerning all those activities could be the reason why by the grace of God I've been able to live a victorious life. 
Dicho chingave chikon zero nenyasha zamari kuburiza nenyasha zamari ndago na kukara upenyu wakukunda. I have fought against demons. No matter how anointed you are, you will just find yourself fighting against evil spirits at some point. So there is no anointing that exempts you from fighting. But rather the anointing comes upon your life so that when you fight, your victory is guaranteed. Remember what I talked about on Tuesday that we should be ready to fight and to defend our territories. So these sessions that I'm giving you now, they are going to breed a very powerful and unstoppable generation. You are going to realize sooner or later that you are going to begin to have authority over territories and you can control the incidences and occurrences of things in a particular or in a given uh, location by the grace of God. Because I believe that all of us here would want to fight against demons and be successful. Are we together? So please, I want you to follow me as we are talking about this particular subject.